Hey guys, so we're here today with three different camera bags and we know that when you're deciding on a camera bag it can actually be really difficult to choose, there's so many different factors. We're actually all really lucky, we get to travel really frequently for our jobs so that's also a factor. So we've actually all chosen our bag specifically because we think they are the best bag. So my one is the Vanguard VEO R48 adapter. My one, and look, you know, the longer the name, the better the bag. Pro Tracker BP 650 AW2 from Lower Pro. So don't listen to him. I have the small but mighty Calumet, Calumet shoulder bag, uh, which is fantastic and I think is all you need. So the challenge is we've all got the same kit. We've got three minutes uh, to pack these bags. I've got the smallest bag, but I think that having a massive bag and uh, filling it with everything you could possibly need shows a lack of personal discipline, Luke. So now the reason that I'm going to win this is because this bag is humongous. The other guys think that they have a big enough bag to ca carry all this stuff and they don't. They don't. They're wrong. You kind of have to pack this bag a little bit strategically because it is big, but it's not huge. Because you've got your camera, you've got three primes that I'm packing in here. Three lenses and only one camera. What if the camera goes down? He hasn't thought of that. Oh, we have three primes. That's a lot of primes to put in this bag. Um, right. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Is it going to tessellate? I'm going to put it in last. We'll just throw bits in here, bits in there, bits in here, bits in there. This bag has literally a compartment for every single thing. The other bags don't. So many tall things. There's, there's extra pockets I haven't even used yet. And what? I don't even know what this is. Snacks. I might just break here and have like a bit of Cadbury's dairy milk, if you don't mind. Um, snacks are going in here. Pen, always good. I love the crossword. You've got to do the crossword. It's really fun. VO5 texturizing gum, got to do your hair if you're on camera, come on, I'm talking about me here. I obviously use a lot of texturizing gum, you can tell that's going to go in the side pocket as well. Now, what the best thing about this video is that I've had to, been able to watch Luke and Johnny both handle my underwear. So even if I lose the challenge, I think I'm clearly the real winner here. Come on, don't be dirty. How on earth did Johnny get any of this in his bag? So I can pack a very small bag, I can pack light. But there's so many compartments. I just want to point out how many compartments, how many pockets. Look at all the pockets. Yeah. Pocket blower, tall pocket. I've run out of tall pockets. No. And then what else we got? We got some headphones. Pop the headphones in. Headphones. Sorted. And then I'm going to attempt to shut it, which is not going well at all. Oh. It's also a bit gross because while Luke was packing his bag, I put my bag next to a tree and a dog tried to wee on it and I think did a little bit. I've got, I've got, sorry, a dog's attacking us. The things I do for this job, you can never question my commitment. Gimbal. Ah, no, it's just never gonna work. You can jettison the gimbal. Who needs steady shots? I have definitely won. I didn't even need to try and we're done. I'll zip it up. Look, even this bag is struggling, but it is definitely the winner. Yes. I think I won. And away we go. What was my time? Oh no! So here we go, I didn't get the gimbal in. I've only barely got the headphones on. And I did that in 3 minutes 56 seconds. Okay, so I went over by a little bit, but that's a lot of stuff and that's a big bag. 3 minutes 10 seconds. On to the next one. And that was done in 2 minutes 37, which I will tell you is a quite a bit quicker than Jolly and Luke. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Great, so that was a lot of fun, um, but now we're going to talk about the pros and cons of these bags and how we found packing them in a rush. I uh, think I'm a pretty damn good packer, although I took longer than you guys. Um, I struggled a bit to get everything in here. How did you find it? Oh, to be honest, I can't believe you managed to get it. That all. is the TARDIS. Yeah. That is the TARDIS. I was looking at him like, he hasn't got a hope. Like, there's no chance you're going to get, get all yeah. that stuff in. So fair play that you actually managed yeah, to Yeah, it's, it's a very deep bag. And so you can double stack stuff and you can fit things vertically. Whereas in the shallower bag, you have to lay everything flat. And that takes up a lot more space. So. 
So I was the only one, I do want to point out, guys, that did it within the time frame. That's fair. This is true. Uh, and it wasn't the most beautiful job of packing. I probably <laughs> wouldn't be super comfortable going to the airport with the way that it is now. It's still all in this bag, along with some urine for sure. Uh, but I was pretty proud that I managed to get it all in inside. <laughs> um, and I, I'm also shocked that I managed to get it all in because there was so much gear there and I, I didn't think that it was going to be possible. So I'm really happy with how this bag's done. I'm just hearing a lot of excuses, okay? This is the king of the bags. It's so good. And I got everything and yeah, it took me a little longer, but you know what? Everything's coming with me and that's all that matters. I'll tell you what, Luke, how much does it cost you every time you have to check that in? I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> how much? I'm not gonna, not gonna how how many that. times have they gone is that, a, is that a permissible carry-on bag? But how many times have you been away you haven't had enough stuff? I'll tell you what, if you, if, you, if you book in style, you can get this bag with you and you can put it on the handle of your wheelie suitcase. And you right. can oh, that is, cool. cool. really good, eh? that is actually quite cool. That is actually quite cool. But I mean, imagine, that, like, I just would love to see, next time we go on a trip, I will record the lady at the desk asking Luke to put it in that tiny little basket where they ask you to put the carry-on suitcases in because there is no way that's going it's, in It's there. not happening. That is the, yes, that's the, the, the downside of this bag. It's going to be tough going traveling with it, but I love it. I'm very dogmatic about this bag. I love it, but it is, it's, it's not ideal. You have to pay a bit more. I've got to give a shout out again for my small and mighty bag is that the downside of both of these bags is that you have to take them off to pack them or to get anything out. Mm. And if you're on the move, if, if, we're, you know, if we're traveling a lot and we have to carry our kit and we have to swap lenses on the move, you both have to stop, put the bag down, unzip it. Yeah. Whereas this over my shoulder, while it's, it's, a, it's a weight on your shoulder, if you're carrying it for a full day, yeah. it does mean that you can grab That's stuff That's exactly really, what I really was easily, thinking yeah. though, is like, as, as many uh, photographers and filmmakers can attest, most of us have some form of back <laughs> issue due to the huge amount of equipment that we have to carry all the time. And I am not uh, sold. Don't know, don't know what you're talking about. I am not <laughs> sold. Don't know, yeah, <laughs> 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 don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Fit as a fiddle. <laughs> but yeah, these, this and that, that, I think they're both gonna obviously be so good for back support. And that is a really big thing for me when I'm looking into a bag, is just making sure that I have a really good back support, that it's, I'm not gonna feel too bad at the end of a shoot day after carrying all this gear. All right, but talking about Luke's size issues, um, <laughs> I want to bring. I don't in... struggle in that department. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I want to bring in Tiffany uh, just to show how completely ridiculous this bag is. Because on Luke, he's a big guy. He can carry all this gear, no problem. He makes it look easy because he's a big, tough guy. But if you are a little more normal sized then you can just see how completely ridiculous that looks. It looks like she's going trekking through the Andes or something. <laughs> um, and that is a big factor, it's very, I how was How was your gap year, Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, right? Stop picking on my bag. <laughs> I love this bag. I could eat my lunch off this, though, couldn't I? <laughs> you actually could. Yeah. I could have a plate so of sushi multi off of this. <laughs> <laughs> So I can pick up a bag like this for about 64 quid. How about you guys? Uh, this one on Wex is 110, which I think is actually I thought this was going to be more than that. I think it's a really good value for money. I know it's you know 100 quid still a lot in a rucksack, but I think it's really good value for money. It's done me well for the last year or two. Mine is 469 pounds. Excuse me. 469 pounds. Can we no? Can we set for the people? 469 pounds. That is outrageous. It's a lot of money for a bag. Does it take the pictures for you? You get what you pay for, guys. <laughs> get what you pay for. Can't, can't put a price on keeping your kit safe. Yeah, that's but true. Maybe yeah. if it costs a holiday, yeah, it like you did, can. Yeah. <laughs> so let's wrap up our bags. Mine, uh, definitely for photography, if you're walking around with, uh, with a few lenses and cameras, having it over your shoulder, this is great. It can hold a surprising amount to get you through an airport. You wouldn't want to have it that loaded all the time, but I'd say a photography bag, maybe not a filmmaker's bag. I think this is just kind of that nice sweet spot. It's that bit in the middle. It's a big rucksack compared to an average rucksack, but for a camera rucksack, it's probably actually fairly bog standard size. I can cram it full of a lot of stuff, but if I want to bring the whole world with me, then I probably do need something like that. That's what this is for, is bringing everything with you, all your primes, maybe two cameras, uh, or just your whole setup. It's the monster truck of bags. You do have to be pretty strong if you want to pack it full. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend it um, if you're like five foot, but um, I love it. 
it's great. Well, that's it for today. We'd be really interested to hear what you think, though. Which bag would you choose, and what bag do you have to carry your kit around in? But apart from that, I think that's us for the day, isn't it? So yeah. we'll head off on holiday. See you next time. I won. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get that in.